How's it going everyone? My name is Chris and today we're going to be looking at the SparkFun VR IMU breakout. Now, we also have a special guest with us today, Andy, who is the engineer who transitioned this board from a Spark X board into a Spark Fun board. And we're going to be asking him a couple of questions about this since he is the authority on this board. How's it going, Andy? Pretty well. How are you? Great, great. I was actually curious mainly, what is the VR IMU breakout? So the VR IMU breakout, we've got three sensors in this little chip right here. Uh, there's an accelerometer, we have a gyroscope, and a magnetometer. And with all of those, we basically have nine degrees of freedom, so we can get all of our game rotation vectors and our gyroscope rotate and all of our things that we need. Why would somebody want the SparkFun VR IMU over another IMU that is currently on the market? So, I mean, what makes this guy so special is that all of the processing is actually done on board the chip itself. It has a built-in ARM Cortex on board. So none of that, uh, none of that VR heavy math is going to be chewing up any clock cycles on your microcontroller. And also, it's super precise. This is actually the same chip that they use in Android phones to use those, uh, those headsets. Now, the other thing I've noticed is that it is a quick-enabled board. But is there any other way that people can hook up to it if they don't want to use I2C? So, I mean, it is a quick board, uh, but we do have uh, the UART pins broken out as well as a serial parallel interface if you want to run at a little bit higher data rate than I2C allows. So you can use a serial basic with it and hook it up to anything just to be able to use UART then. Mm -hmm. Great. Typically when you see a demo for an IMU, you get the same basic thing that happens. You see an image on a screen, it rotates based on how you rotate the board. But we've gone a different route with this, and Andy has been pretty good with optical electronics. You can see a lot of his blogs and guides and what he's done in terms of that. So Andy, I do have a question. What have you done? All right, so what I did is I took the gyroscope reading, just the gyroscope, and attached this axis oh, to red, this axis to green, and then this axis to blue. So if I flap, I get red. If I rotate, I get green. And if I wave, then I get blue. So that's just like a really quick and dirty application of the VR IMU. Uh, just using that to control LEDs, that's got a lot of applications in costume, and if you want to do any other sort of gesture control, then this is the thing for you. Great, well thank you for stopping by in and answering some of our questions. If you're interested in the VR IMU, it is available today. Make sure to pick one up and we'll see you next time. It is a quick enabled board. Board. I said um. <laughs> well, that is. No, hold on. I don't want to say this. <laughs> now, the other thing that I've noticed about it is that it is equipped with. There was a lot of isms in, in terms of costume. Costume. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Okay.